Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are picking this up from the topic of inverse trigonometric functions. And we have taken this question from year 2023 of JWE mains. So if I talk about the question that is given to us here, question tells that X belongs to minus one and one. So if I see here, this is an open interval. And this is your closed interval. So from this, I understand that X is greater than minus one and it's less than or equal to one. So X can be equal to one, but X is greater than minus one. It's not equal to minus one. And for this range of values of X, we have been given, we have been asked to find out how many solutions are possible for the expression which is given to us, which is sine inverse X is equal to 2 times tan inverse x. So for this entire expression, we have been asked how many solutions are possible. Let's find out how many number of solutions are possible. And there are four options given a0, b1, c2, d3. So these are the four options also given to us. Let's solve this expression first. So sine inverse x is equal to 2 times tan inverse x. So first thing I can understand here is if I want to find the values of x to make my left hand side turn into x, I will take sine ratio on both sides. So it becomes sine of sine inverse x is equal to sine of 2 times tan inverse x. So if I have here sine of sine inverse theta becomes x, that is equal to sine of 2 times tan inverse. So let's figure out the value of this entire expression. Now here, if I solve this further, I know, let's say tan inverse of x is equal to theta. So tan inverse of x is equal to theta, if I'm putting here, I get x is equal to tan theta. So once I get x is equal to tan theta, if I draw a right angle triangle, where this angle is theta and x is equal to tan theta so i can write tan theta is nothing but x upon one so from this expression i get this tan theta is x upon one and the formula for tan theta we already know it is opposite side upon adjacent side so tan theta is equal to x upon one so opposite side is having the ratio x this is having the ratio adjacent side as one so if I find by Pythagoras theorem in right angle triangle, the hypotenuse. So I can just find the hypotenuse here. Hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular side square. Where base is 1 and perpendicular side is x. That gives you x square plus 1. So hypotenuse becomes root of x square plus 1. So I get this. x upon this becomes hypotenuse side becomes root of x squared plus 1. So I have this as sine 2 theta. Basically, if I write this, x becomes sine of 2 theta, which is double angle. So that gives us 2 sine theta cos theta. So I can Further simplify x as 2 sin theta cos theta. And from this triangle, if I try to find out sin theta and cos theta, so if I just use the idea, sin theta we know it is opposite side upon hypotenuse. Opposite side we know it is having the value of x and hypotenuse we just figured out root of x square plus 1. Cos theta also if I figure out from the expression it is adjacent side upon hypotenuse. Adjacent side, we again know it is 1. Hypotenuse is again root of x square plus 1. So once I have sine theta and cos theta, if I substitute them in this idea, to find my values of x, x becomes equal to 2 times sine theta is x upon root of x square plus 1. 
cos theta is 1 upon root of x square plus 1. If I am just substituting these ideas and if I solve this further, 2x, root of x square plus 1 into root of x square plus 1 gives you x square plus 1. Because it becomes square root of the whole square of x square plus 1, which is square root and square gets cancelled, you get x square plus 1 left out. From here, if I solve this further, I get this. x multiplied with x square plus 1 gives you x cubed. Sorry. Multiply first. x square plus 1 is equal to x. Get x cubed plus x equal to 2x. That gives you x cubed minus x is equal to 0 because 2x, if it goes on the left hand side, becomes minus 2x. If I take out x common, you get x square minus 1 is equal to 0. If I solve this further, I get x equal to 0. Or x square minus 1 is equal to 0, which gives you x square equal to plus 1. So that gives you square root. Taking square root on both sides, x becomes plus 1 or minus 1. So from this, I get three values of x, minus 1, 0, and 1. For x, we get three values. Now, we have been told that x is lesser than or equal to 1, but it is greater than minus 1. So x cannot be equal to minus 1. So x equal to minus 1 has to be a rejected value. So that is rejected. With that, we get two values of x, 0 and 1, which satisfy this expression, sin inverse x equal to 2 tan inverse of x in this range of values of x. So for that, we get two solutions that satisfy this expression. So answer for the question becomes option C, that is 2. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on inverse trigonometric functions where we have been given the range of values of x and we need to find out how many values of x satisfy this expression. So in this case, when we solve this further, we got three values. Out of those three values, only two satisfy the given range. So we get two solutions for this and the answer becomes option C. So that number of solutions for the equation, we get their last two. I hope you have understood this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue this questions on JW mains as well as 11th and 12th. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share this videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of JW questions. Thank you.